Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, today in this video tutorial, I will be taking a new proximity sensor that is TMD2771. Now to have a better perspective regarding the sensor, let's visit the website that is controleverything.com and here we have to search for this particular sensor and let's see what we got else from that. And as you can see, it's an ambient light sensor with 16 bit proximity detection and these are some of its more prominent features which you can see on my screen you can also have the uh, ability to purchase the sensor from this website from here now further in this video tutorial i will be interfacing the sensor tmd2771 with an arduino nano and for that i require a code and let's go to resource tab and here comes the arduino code sample now you can download the arduino code sample as a zip file from this very site also, you can have the opportunity to download the code uh, from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now what do we require is to have a look over the hardware we uh, need to set up a device and let's see what we got there. Now first of all the requirement in the hardware section is an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen and this here is an I2C sheet. It's available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this is to make easy connections with other I2C devices. Now this here is our sensor that is a proximity and ambient light sensor TMD2771 and this here is a connecting cable. Now make the connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and for the same reason to the I2C shield. Now this here is a mini USB cable. It is very useful for making power connections and gently insert it over the power jack. Now we are all done with the connections we require. Now what do we require is Arduino code and let's proceed. Now coming to the interfacing part, first of all the requirement is of an Arduino code and to get that we have to log into github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community and let's after that we have to search for the sensor that is TMD2771 and here is the Arduino code and let's have a look over the instructions first as you can see we have to download and install Arduino software ID on our local machine and the steps to install Arduino are provided on this very link www.arduino.cc and let's open up this link and see what we got here we can download the Arduino software from this very site and it runs on Windows, Mac and Linux operating system note it down carefully and install it after that uh, you can get back to the code Arduino code and you see that it's a dot .in extension file now in the code as you notice we have included wire.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x39 now in the void setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master along with serial communication with set baud rate equal to 9600 in the writing section part we have selected enable register that is 0x00 or with 0x a0 and it says that we have to send command to set power on proximity and ALS enabled it goes for 0x 0f then we have to select ALS time register as you can see it's 0x01 or with 0x a0 and we have to send a command to set a time equal to 101 ms and it's 0x db after that we have to select proximity time register having address 0x02 or with 0x a0 and it goes for the command that will say that p time should be 2.72 millisecond and it will be 0x0 uh, 0x ff then we have to select fade time register having address 0x03 or with 0x a0 and we have to set uh, the command to for w time that is 0 uh, 2.72 ms and it will be 0x ff then we have to select pulse count register having address 0x0 or with 0x a0 and we have to send the command to set pulse count equal to 4 that will be 0x04 now the last working command is uh, that will be selecting control register having address 0x0f or with 0x a0 and we have to send a command which will select 120 milliampere LED strength proximity uses channel 1 diode 1x p gain and 1x a gain and it will be 0x 20 after that we have a void loop function in which we are selecting the data register that is 0x 14 or with 0x a0 and from this very register we are requesting 6 bytes and reading 6 bytes of 
data which will be channel 0 data, channel 1 data and proximity data. Then we have the conversion of the data which takes place and it's all according to the formulas and the details provided in the data sheet for the sensor TMD 2771. At the very end of our code we have the output data to be displayed on the serial monitor which is in the ambient light luminance in lux and proximity of the device. Now it's a very simple and generalized code as you can see with the result output in luminance for ambient light luminance in lux and proximity. Now what do we require is to see the practicality and let's see how it works. Coming to the working environment part, first of all the step is to copy this entire code of the Arduino as you can see on my screen and now open up the Arduino terminal from here and in this terminal we have to paste the entire code we have just copied and save it by the name tmd2771 and now verify and compile the code. Done compiling, now upload the code and just wait. It's done. Now open up the serial monitor to have the output to be displayed on the screen. And let's see what we got. As you can see, we have the ambient light luminance along with the proximity of the device. As you can see, it's almost constant, not much changing because there is no interference regarding the intensity of the light source. But when I place some object over the sensor, you can see the ambient light luminance decreasing and the proximity of the device increasing, which means some object is a lot much nearer to the sensor and its maximum value is there 1023 but instead when I bring some light source near the sensor you can see the ambient light and the proximity changes just like that so this is how the sensor responds now what do we require is to have a look over the benefits features and the applications of the proximity and ambient light sensor TMD2771 Let's have it. The TMD2771 family of devices provides digital ambient light sensing ALS, a complete proximity detection system and digital interface logic in a single 8-pin package. The proximity detector includes a digital proximity sensor, LED driver and IR LED, which are trimmed to eliminate the need for end equipment calibration due to component variations. Excellent background light rejection allows the device to operate in environments from sunlight to dark ones. These features make it very useful for applications like cell phone backlight dimming, cell phone touch screen disable, notebook monitor security, automatic speaker phone enable and a lot many. This answer can be purchased from the website controleverything.com and you can have the code from the source tab and after that you can download the code as a zip file. You can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end I would make it clear that for any further queries you can reach us on controleverything.com and to post your comments you can post on the community page. For blogs and articles which are relevant to this sensor and the code and the video you can go to instructivals.com and to subscribe more video tutorials just like this you can have a look upon our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks a lot for watching.